think time now for sports. The finalists have been decided for this weekend's climax of the ICC T20 World Championship. West Indies women, they are facing a stiff challenge in their quest in the second semifinal against New Zealand. Let's join the action live in St. Lucia with the Caribbean ladies chasing 181 to win. And uh, the action going on on Island 24. The West New Zealand batted first and put up a, a strong total, the highest of the tournament in fact. And uh, they made 180 for 5 off their 20 overs. Sarah McGlashkin top scored with 84. This is live action here now. The winner meets Australia in Sunday's final. The West Indies needing 78 more runs off 20 five balls so uh, improbable for the West Indies to make those runs so New Zealand now will go on to face the Aussies on Sunday the, Aussies, the West Indies ladies they're 103 for 6 chasing 180 to win and so it will be a New Zealand Australia final Australia making both finals after a blistering century half century rather from Australian batsman Michael Hussey setting up a come from behind win for the Aussie men earlier today knocking out the defending champions Pakistan from the tournament needing 18 from the final over Hussey smashes three sixes and propels his team into Sunday's final against England. There he is, Michael Hussey. Pakistan batted first and posted what looked like enough runs, 191 for six. Big total, right? Led by half centuries by the Akmal brothers. But the Aussies looked down and out at 144 for seven in the 17th over before Hussey, with big shots like that one, accelerated in the closing overs. Worries for Pakistan captain Shahid Afridi. Australia wrapping up an impressive three wicket victory with one ball to score. To spare Hussey 60 coming off just 24 balls and included three fours and six sixes. Australia remaining unbeaten right up to the final while England's only loss came against the West Indies in the opening round. These two meet off in Sunday's grand final at Kensington Oval in Barbados. We'll have live coverage on KMA 27 and Island 24 of the finals on Sunday. Now to track and field. Cayman Sidoni Mother Sale continues a solid start to this year's outdoor season. Sidoni picks up a third place finish at the IAAF Diamond League meet in Doha, Qatar today. She clocks 22.66 seconds in the 200 meters behind Jamaicans Carol Short and Sharon Simpson. Caribbean born runners finished in the event's top five. Sidoni's second quality run in the past two weeks after her second place finish at the Jamaica International Invitational behind the Olympic champion Veronica Campbell Brown. But the day belonged to speedster Jamaican Asafa Powell. He clocks a world leading 9.75 seconds in the heat and then returns to win the final in a win assisted 9.81. Running in lane 6 in the yellow top, Powell recovers from a slow start and powers past the high quality field, beating teammate Nesta Carter into second. Best opening run for a long time for Powell and showing some glimpses of the form that led, led him to a personal best 9.72 two years ago. Powell was happy with his efforts this early in the season as he prepares for a clash with the sprint giant and record holder for the 100 meters Usain Bolt in the coming months. Before we go this evening, the Cleveland Cavaliers exit the NBA playoffs last night. The East number one seed surrender in Boston last evening, 94-85 at the Garden. Star forward LeBron James, he weighed in with a triple-double, 27 points, 19 rebounds, 10 assists, but it wasn't enough. Celtics stars Rajon Rondo and Kevin Garnett combined for 43 points to close out the series for Boston 4-2. Disappointment for LeBron. And they move on to face the Orlando Magic in the East Final starting Sunday night. The big sports question today, however, is whether King James will remain a Cavalier next season. He enters free agency in a month's time with several top teams bidding for one of the NBA's biggest stars to be on their roster. That's the final basket in sports this evening. John Foster standing by with the weekend weather next.